Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Bailey and I'm from the site Plagiarism Today, which can be found at plagiarismtoday.com. Today I'm going to take you on a very quick tour of Plague Scan, a German-based plagiarism detection service that recently has been getting a lot of attention for its ability to detect copyright infringement and other content misuse, misuse online. Plague Scan is actually aimed more at an academic audience and its user interface and its plagiarism reports show that. However, it has a very powerful detection engine and can be easily find all or nearly all of the copies of your content that's on the web. As such, it's a pretty useful tool for plagiarism detection, even if it may not be ideal in every way. As such, I'm going to take you for a quick tour, show you how to use it, and how you can integrate it into your plagiarism detection toolbox. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is to sign in or create a Plague Scan account. If you don't have an account, you can simply click the No Account link here, or if you wish, you can sign in using your Google or your Yahoo account, which is what I'll be doing in just a moment. All new accounts get 25 free points where they can kind of test the service out and get to use it a little bit. However, I've added a few points to my account, both for the purpose of the screencast and for my own professional use. As such, I'm going to click the Google link and sign right in. The basic Plague Scan interface is straightforward. Here on the left-hand sidebar, you have a, your balance, which is listed in points. I have 386 points, and that would be roughly uh, 38,600 words of plagiarism checking. One point equals about 100, 100 words. However, bear in mind the points round up. So if you do 301 words, you'd be using four points. You have a text input link here. You can access the Plague Scan manual. You can ask Plague Scan a question, send an invite to a friend, or adjust your settings. All pretty straightforward. You also have a document search and filter here, where if you have a lot of documents, which right now I have none, but if you have a lot of documents, you can use it to filter and find exactly the one you're looking for. I do want to draw attention to the plagiarism levels here. As you can see, 0 to 1 percent is green, 1 to 5 percent is yellow, 5 to 100 percent is red. I would encourage you to largely ignore this. Um, not only are the percentages relatively meaningless, even in an academic environment, but if you're using this to track your content, nearly every case is going to be the, in the red because it's going to find at least your copy. That being said, there's two ways you can get content in the Plague Scan. The first is you can use the Add Document link, which you can use to upload like a document file from Word, an HTML file, RTF file, etc. Or you can do what we're going to do today, which is use the text input link here. Now what I've done is I've actually copied the first few paragraphs of A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, and we're going to use that to kind of test the service out. So what you do, you just simply paste the text in there, and then you give it a title. And then when you're done, you hit Submit, and it might take a few seconds to churn, and then you see the document appears in your list. Now bear in mind when you simply hit Submit on a document, it doesn't start the plagiarism analysis. What you see here is it has a thing where it tells you to start the check and how many points it's going to cost. As you can see, it was 334 words. It's going to cost me four points to perform the check. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and click this link and let us start performing the check. Now, we're actually going to give it a break right here because Plague Scan actually takes a little while to find the, to find the results. So we're going to give it a few moments and come right back to it in just a minute. Okay, and now we're back, and as you can see, Plague Scan has finished its scan and has found that the work was a 99.1% plagiarism. This is widely expected because Tale of Two Cities is available all over the internet. So, we're going to click the look, click the look at the report, and here's how the report actually views. As you can see, it's basically a uh, list of links and where you might, uh, where the content is suspect. And what it does is it breaks it apart into matches. Uh, for example, this eNotes site, it lists nine matches, has a link to the page, and you can click this little plus sign here and get a full list of the matching text. You can also click the link to the site to go there directly, or click the highlight the matches in the source if you want to go there and get a highlighted version of it, which is what we're going to do right now. It takes it a few seconds to load up as it processes, and as you can see here, it lists the exact text we copied. And as you can see, it's not 100% perfect in terms of the matching. There might be a few words omitted or a few words that are added that don't quite belong. But all in all, it seems to work pretty well. Um, and as you can see, it found a pretty large number of matches for the work. Obviously, there are many, many more out there other than this. We're doing something that's spread far and wide over the Internet. 
but for a work that has a more moderate level of plagiarism, this should let you know just about everything you need to know about how the work's being used. In fact, it found uh, 178 matches and 22 sources, to give you an idea. So, long story short, you can use this, and that's how you'll get your plagiarism report. Now, to go back very quickly, um, PlagueScan also optionally can email you a copy of the report, and that email report will include a very similar structure to that, and also have it has a download PDF with side-by-side -side comparisons. That's basically how you use PlagueScan. It's a very simple, straightforward service. You just have to remember to click the link after you hit submit, and once you've done that, you should have no trouble testing your work for uh, misuse online. Bear in mind, like I said, it is intended more for the academic environment, but obviously it has a lot of usefulness in this area too. Also, if you want, there is an API that will allow you to hook Plague Scan into just about any uh, CMS or any other system that you want, so you can take advantage of that for more automated or more integrated plagiarism detection. All in all, a simple, powerful system, relatively inexpensive to use, and probably well worth checking out if you're interested in getting sort of a, another perspective on how your work is being used online. On that note, my name is Jonathan Bailey, once again from PlagiarismToday.com, signing out.